Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to leave Tombstone, Arizona and travel up to Camp Verde, Arizona to explore the area. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. As we leave Tombstone here, the, uh, it's a beautiful little drive up to uh, I-10. We're going to head west on I-10. Uh, the weather's not looking really good right now, but I promise you it does clear up later and we have a beautiful drive here. As you can see, we've made it to I-10, and what a difference just a couple hours make in the weather. Hey folks, well, we made it to Interstate 17 and uh, north of Phoenix, and we're headed up towards Camp Verde. If you ever have a chance to drive Interstate 17 north from Phoenix to Flagstaff, the section we're on right now, it's beautiful. It's uh, mostly uphill all the way. There's a few uh, valleys that you go through, but it's a, uh, it's a gorgeous view all the way up. So sit back, relax, and enjoy it. Well, we're dropping down into the Verde River Valley here, which happens to be where Camp Verde is. It's a beautiful drive coming down the hill here, and at the bottom we'll be in the uh, town of Camp Verde. Alright folks, this is our exit. We're going to jump off here in Camp Verde and then we're going to cross US or Interstate 17 here. You'll see the RV park over there on the right. It is going to be uh, Verde Ranch RV Resort and that's where we're going to stay for the next couple of days while we explore the area. Hey folks, well this is Verde Ranch RV Resort that we stayed at here. You can see it's all new facilities. It's a fairly new campground. Uh, they've got a little bit of every kind of campsite that you could want. If you uh, look up there on the right on the hill, they have campsites that have covers over them. So in the hot summer sun, you've got a, uh, a cover. The building we were just at is where you check in. 
All the restroom facilities were brand new. Uh, the laundry facilities were brand new. There's some of that covered RV sites I was telling you about. We chose the middle of the road over here. It's just a basic RV site back in. Uh, they're kind of close together, but uh, we knew that we weren't going to spend a whole lot of time in the campground. And uh, this is our site over here on the left. But over here on the right, it give you an idea of what the sites look like. And then down behind this, they've got bigger sites that are pull-through sites, uh, which uh, give you a little more room between you and your neighbors. So it's pretty much anything you could want at the RV park. Uh, we really enjoyed it. And if we're back in the area and we need a place to stay, we'll probably stay here too. Well, now that we're in the campsite here, we're going to go ahead and get set up. And then uh, we're going to call it an evening, and tomorrow we'll go exploring. Good morning. We had a wonderful night, nice and quiet in the campground. Let's go ahead and head into downtown Camp Verde so we can find us a nice place to eat. We found this local restaurant, locally owned uh, restaurant bakery called Utterly Divine here in Camp Verde. And uh, you can see from the menu here, it's, uh, it's got some wonderful food. We actually liked it so much, we ate here several times, got to know the owners. And it's, uh, it's a wonderful place to eat, excellent food, and we highly recommend it. Well, that was an excellent breakfast. Let's go ahead and head up north of town just a little bit, short little drive. We're gonna head up here to Montezuma Castle National Monument. made it to Montezuma Castle and uh, it is a pay to get in but if you have the uh, National Park Pass you can't get in here with it. From the entrance here it's just a short little walk down to the actual castle. It's a pretty walk. Uh, we were here in the winter time. I imagine it's gorgeous with all the leaves on the tree. And then the uh, path once you get to the castle here and you look at it, uh, the path continues on around to the uh, river that's over here by it. And then also if you look up here on the uh, castle and you look to the side of it, you'll see smaller dwellings over on the side. I'll show you a picture in just a minute of some of them. Alright folks, well that concludes our time here at uh, Montezuma Castle. Let's go ahead and head west of here now to Jerome, Arizona. As we head up the side of the mountain here, we're coming into the town of Jerome. Uh, some history of uh, Jerome, Arizona is it's an old copper mining town that's literally built on the side of a mountain. You'll notice as we take these roads up, we're going to basically just keep switching back as we climb up the uh, side of the mountain. You can see the town up there. Uh, there's a lot of shops up in Jerome that you can go shopping. There's some restaurants up in here. Uh, they have some wineries if you want to go uh, try some local wine. Uh, they even have an old hotel that's uh, uh, supposedly haunted that you can go to. It's a cute little town. You can spend the whole day up here exploring. Uh, they even have a uh, museum for the old copper mine. So uh, we would highly recommend coming to Jerome when you come to Arizona.
That's the old fire station right there, which according to the signs is slowly sliding down the side of the mountain. We're just going to drive all the way through the town here, all the way up to a lookout just north of the town. We'll give you a quick view from it. And then we're going to head back down and back to the campground. All right, folks, as we head back down the mountain, we'll let you know that that concludes this uh, episode. We hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate you watching and thank you for your support. And join us again next time when we go back to Sedona and explore it a little more in detail from where we were there last time. With that being said, we'll see you in the campground.